we're going through very technical and very specific clauses in part two of the bill. Thank you, Madam Chair. I call Jonathan Young. And uh, thank you, Minister, for uh, your comments in terms of manage and long-term uh, transition. Um, before I just come to sub some substantive comments around part two, um, can, I, can I say that, um, that this transition has been taking place for a considerable period of time, and the hydrocarbon industry uh, certainly engaged in that and have been for some time. Uh, and so, <clears throat> while I appreciate that you, uh, the Minister, is saying 20, 30 or 40 years down the track, um, there has always been a commitment to, uh, especially in latter years, to consider the issues around climate change and to reduce emissions, particularly in the exploration and the production sector, which is what we're looking at, who currently uh, generate about 2 per cent of New Zealand's um, emissions. Um, coming to uh, clause or section 23, existing permits unaffected, um, and their subsection 2, existing permits including any conditions to which the permits are subject immediately before the commencement of the Amendment Act continue to have effect according to their terms, unless and until those conditions are amended or those terms change in accordance uh, with this Act as if the amendment had not been enacted. Um, yes, that may give uh, assurance to uh, current permit holders. Can I ask the question, therefore, that, as I raised under um, part one, that an existing permit holder who applies for an extension of area for their permit uh, because the discovery, the reserve, the resource that they uh, have discovered uh, is beyond their permit area, that that will be considered mm -hmm. under the current conditions upon which they gained the permit in the first place, where in uh, section 12.4 of the uh, petroleum program, that if they have had a discovery and apply for it, the minister would, or the minister will, uh, rather, uh, grant them under some obvious conditions that that would take place. Uh, and <clears throat> is the minister saying that, yes, she would, because this is what this provision says in part two, that she would honour existing conditions to permits, but is she saying that she will curtail that to within onshore Taranaki region? So there will be, in fact, a limitation of those conditions. I think just some clarity would be appreciated. Uh, because we're not talking about new permits, we're talking about existing permits, uh, which she and, of course, the Prime Minister have made those commitments to that they would be unaffected. Uh, existing privileges unaffected, that is the heading of Clause 25. And so I do think that it's, uh, it's, it's important and opportune for us to um, have some clarity around that in specifically. Um, can I also say that uh, as we look down the track, down the track it's, as the Minister said, a managed and a long-term transition 20 to 30 to 40 years down the track. Um, that, that at present we have 100,000 square miles of offshore opportunity uh, for uh, existing permits that have already been permitted for that exploration to take place. Um, so we were informed by the officials um, and informed through the re regulatory impact analysis that their assessment based on past information and how it has occurred, that in that 100,000 square kilometres, they would expect, how many wells would you expect in 100,000 square kilometres? You know, it could be it could be a hundred thousand. It could be one well per square kilometre. Yeah. But MB officials stated that they expect, on past experience, a total of four, four. one per twenty-five thousand. Yeah, right. yeah. And of those four, I am assuming that we're looking at the uh, the Bark and the Carvel prospects offshore, uh, Timaru, 
where Andrew Jeffries has been quite clear and quite pronounced in his comments in the public media that because of this bill, they previously had some interested parties who had gone to a joint venture with them, but now they've all turned away. And it is looking increasingly difficult for them to proceed. I call Todd Muller. Chair, and I, I rise to uh, take a call on part two, which. Uh